Today, you're gonna learn how to attach text or objects to walls or things using 3D motion tracking in Adobe After Effects. As intimidating as this may seem at first, you'll soon find out it's actually quite simple. So without further ado, let's get started. Cineguac. Let's begin by dragging our video clip onto the timeline. You'll see this is a cute video of my cat, Cheryl, sitting on the couch waiting for me to give her attention or food or something. So let's first right click on our video clip and go to track and stabilize and select track camera. As soon as we do this, your computer will now automatically track the motion of your video clip in a 3D space. You can watch the progress right up here in the effect controls panel. And we can just speed through this part. And as soon as your computer is done, you'll notice you now have all of these little colored markers around the frame. Each one is essentially tracking the motion of different parts of your clip. So let's just find the part of the frame where we want to add our text or object, and click and drag to highlight several of these tracking points. As soon as you do that, this little red circle will appear, which we can right click, and depending on what type of 3D object you'd like to create, you have several different options. Since we'll begin by creating some text, let's just go ahead and select Create Text and Camera. And as soon as you do that, you'll see a text box is already created, and if we just click on the Type tool, we can write whatever we'd like. Let's just type out Cat, and we can adjust the size, make sure it's highlighted, and change the scale, the font, color, etc. And with the Selection tool, we can just click and drag the text into position. If we go to our text layer and drop this menu down and then go to transform, here we can adjust the X, Y, and Z rotations in a 3D space. So if we just play around with these values, you'll see the title moves forward and backward, left or right, or rotates on an axis. So just play around with these values until everything looks good to you. And that's pretty much it. If we just go ahead and click out of here and play it all back, you'll see the text now sticks to the object, or in this case, my cat, in a three-dimensional space. But let's say we don't want text, we want a video clip playing here, or we want an image. Here's what we do. Let's just hide this text layer for now, drop down this menu under your video layer, and go to Effects, and then just click once on the 3D camera tracker, so now you can see all of our tracking marks are still here. And let's just select the same part of the frame we did last time. And just like before, right click, only this time select Create Solid. So now you'll see we have this green solid box right here, which in a sense is similar to having a digital green screen. So what we can do is right click this track solid layer and select Pre-Compose. Here we can name this new composition to whatever we'd like, but let's just keep it as is for now and hit OK. So now we're inside a new composition with the solid that we just created. We can just click on the solid and delete since we'll be replacing it with an image of our own. Next, you wanna go back to your project window. And as you can see, I've already imported the Cineguac logo, which I can just drag right here onto the timeline. Let's just drag this over. And so now if we go back here to our original composition, you'll see we now have the Cineguac logo right here in the center. And if we just drop this down, we can go to Transform and increase the scale, just like before we can adjust the X, Y, and Z rotation values. And when we play that all back, you'll see we now have my Cineguac logo stuck on my cat. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.